Hey guys, I'm back with another video, and today we're covering the Kodak Black situation. So if you guys don't know, back in 2016, he was accused of doing stuff with an underage girl. Um, he and today he pled guilty to that. Assault teenage girl gets probation. All right, I don't know exactly what's going on with the, everybody right now. It seems like exposed culture is huge right now. Like, I don't know how to describe it. But according to documents obtained by XXL on Wednesday, April 28th, Kodak, whose given name is now Bill K. Caffrey, was handed an 18-month probation sentence after entering a guilty plea to the first-degree assault and battery connections to the five-year-old incident that transpired between himself and an underage girl at Florence, South Carolina, in hotel of February 2016. What the fuck, Kodak? This don't even seem like some shit you would even do. But, um... Kodak has received his fate in the 2016 sexual assault and battery incident involving a teenage girl, which he pled guilty to in a South Carolina courtroom this afternoon. As you guys can see here, I showed you guys the courtroom. Um, I don't know, it just seems like everybody's getting exposed right now. But you know damn well that judge was mad that they couldn't throw up more time at him. Um, Alright, so shortly after, this was his response. Which, Alright, that's kind of sus. Like, I don't really fuck with that response. Kodak, like, you're not valid for that. Let me continue reading this for you guys. The rapper's legal team provided a statement to XXL this afternoon, which said, Today, Bill Capri took a plea of the legal charge of assault. The sexual offense received 18 months probation. This is a change from the original charge. Like, what? I, I, I don't even want to hear this shit. I'm about to just cut my ears off, because, like, uh, I feel like every situation we've been hearing about lately is bullshit. But Kodak was also required to assume accountability for his actions issue his victim apology which he did in court i apologize to miss victim's name and hopefully we can all move forward i wish her the best in life like you clearly didn't wish her the best in life when you were doing what you did bro and it sucks because i rocked with you for a long time kodak but i'm not to keep breaking this situation down for the few years in 2016 the florence county sheriff's office it charged the uh, charged the florida south rhymer first degree criminal sexual conduct of august that year Kodak was already incarcerated for a separate crime and due to being released from jail had to be sentenced to a year of house arrest and five years of probation for charge for the possession of firearm by delinquent and false imprisonment uh, and more. Right, a maximum sentence for the five years. And basically, bro, you get to stay out of trouble. And it's always for the wrong reason, too. However, the Project Baby is being processed to be released from Florida's Broad County Jail in 2016. Police realized he had two outstanding warrants. One, like... I don't know, Kodak. I'm just hoping that you're not doing this weirdo shit. But, alright guys, that's it for today's video. Um, I want you guys to check out the Instagram, because like I said, I'm going to be posting on there way more. And, uh, y'all have a good day. Peace.